All right. Hi. Oh, wait. We should do. All right. All right. All right. We haven't done that in a while. Oh, geez. I never looked at this camera. Oh, one of these days I'm going to get that right. Okay. So we're a little crooked today. Sorry, everybody. But thank you for joining us on live today. We are very excited to bring you. Uh, what was our, <laughs> our ad copy to the pick me up cut? Pick me up cut. Yes. yes. Because Jenny feels like her cut is dragging her down. And I feel like we've all been there. And everybody else doesn't, I feel like, notice it as much as you do. And then the minute you get the pick-me-up cut, everyone, like, now knows why you got the pick-me-up cut. So, we're going to go through a little bit of how I like to do a consultation when I was in the salon. Um, and then we're going to also uh, show what we think, you know, will give a pick-me-up for Jenny, even though she still is thinking about going longer. So, that's the trickiness of it all. Like, how much do we take? knowing that we want to maybe possibly maybe go longer because we think well i think I, are you on the same page as me like i think that we're headed back to out of short and in the long so you think so i do i feel it I it's don't know. warmer especially when you're here in the winter <laughs> yeah i know i do love the, like yeah. when hair can cover you and keep you warmer it's really nice i don't know how guys do it i see guys in the middle of winter with no hats and i just mm -hmm. think their whole head has to be freezing it's probably like complete really for my husband though, because he hates all the hotness, I think. <laughs> but he doesn't hate it. Anyway, so we're talking about pick-me-up cuts today. So you guys get your cutting questions in as much as you can. We are going to do our best to notice them. So if Jenny looks like she's reading today, she is. Because Tammy is out of town. She's having fun in Vegas. So <laughs> have fun in Vegas without us, Tammy. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but Jenny will be reading both oh, comments hey. here. Tammy. Oh, hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy, we were just mentioning you in Vegas. Hmm. Okay, so we are going to um, make sure that, you know, Jenny's going to try and read your questions here and see if we can get questions over here. You have a link over here I that do. hopefully other people are going to be pinging you and saying, hey, this is a good question. Yes. So we're going to do our best as a two-person team today and see how, we, see how we do. So, you know, give us a little leeway if we aren't seeing exactly what we're doing. So, best cut for thin hair I just saw come through. So, what do you what what is your recommendation for best cut for thin hair, Jenny? Oh gosh, I can't get too wispy or it gets even thinner. So, I like a more blunt um, bottom. Yep. And you know, layers help with the fullness. So, I, I would say I don't know. Those are probably the two biggest things for me. Yeah. So I'm gonna, we're gonna kind of walk through how we would do a consultation um, and seeing how Jenny would have been kind of a long-term client for me because I've been cutting your hair for what, a couple months now, six months or something. something I don't like know that. when we started cutting it. But um, so then I, I already feel like I know a lot about her hair. So it wouldn't be like the main, you know, the first time you go to a stylist, there's a lot of things you want to convey to them. So, you know, it would be a, a more, Run, run over the basics, which is what we did this morning. So I should have saved it for right now, but we'll do it anyway. Okay. So we'll, we'll act. We'll, we'll see how put our acting hats okay. on and act like Let's we don't know we what we talked this. about this morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so are you looking at maybe keeping your hair shorter? Do you want like a whole new style or are you looking to go longer? What's your idea? I don't know for sure, but I'm going to have a goal of growing it longer. So. Okay, perfect. Um, and so what do you feel like is going on right now? Do you feel like I feel like it's dragging down everything, you know, my front pieces are way longer than what I usually have them. This is getting real see-through looking down here, Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of, I feel like it's getting pointless, these little ends, so. Okay, get rid perfect. Of them. <laughs> so I'm going to, this is usually where I kind of um, take them to the mirror and start looking at what, what we're going to do then, so let me slide out of it. So, <laughs> let's go, everybody. Okay. So now I know I cut my head off the whole time so I'm talking. It? I might angle it one more time. We all love when I adjust the camera. It's so neat. It's if so fun. If you don't do it at least once. <laughs> if, if I it's don't, it's not like not alive. Right. Okay. So, um, okay. So I'm seeing that I would like to have a little bit more fullness here. And I think we can create that by creating a better foundation right here. And then I think that, you know, if we pick up these pieces just a little bit, it'll give you that swoopiness that I was seeing on you not long ago. I, I think what's happening is it's starting to curl back in on you, so it doesn't rest as nice. Do you feel like you want these back, like, to where they were just a couple weeks ago? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what was, like, a good pickup for you. I think so, too. Okay, did I move that too much now? Is it shaded down like there? For it is like Can everybody see? Don't worry, we're going to put, put a cape. We're going to put a cape. Cutting tape on, so we're, we're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So you got to make sure you watch those comments and stuff and yes. see yes. <laughs> what's going on. Tammy, I hope you're enjoying Vegas. We miss you here today. The best brush to use when straightening your hair. Oh, yeah. I think a paddle brush. Yeah, I would agree. Unless, the thing is, is if you have very wavy hair, then the round brush has those oh, the yeah. more bristles, so that will help you get um, more straightness in it. So it kind of depends on... Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got that real tight on you, huh? Is that too tight? Okay. No, so some of the things that I'm going to really make sure that um, are... So very important pieces, I think, for Jenny's cut are um, having bluntness to the cut so that it can really make her ends not look too thin and wispy at the end. But I still want her to have some kind of a little bit of layering so that it's not just boring stick like the bottom of a broom right so we want to but that's also what creates the fullness so I like a thick foundation at the bottom and then just adding in a little bit of wispy so that we can get a pick-me-up so that you see how that helps her so we just want to do our best to recreate something like that so that it gives you a little bit more fullness so that's what we're going to work on today <laughs> I don't know how you're going to um, answer questions. Maybe yeah. you can take your Well, computer. I did see a question um, about how to get rid of chemical damage without like losing too much of your length. And Oh, you wanna... that is so important. Yeah. Okay. I, everybody, everybody, everybody needs to pay attention right now because this is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing because everybody can use this at some point in their lives. I'm sure. So what we like to do whenever somebody has like any kind of heat or chemical damage and their ends look just a little bit weird, but they don't want to lose the length, okay? So it's very important to keep the length, but you have like funny pieces up and through here. I think everybody in their life has had funny pieces up and through here or something. So you just take the top layer and you put it on your comb and then you can go in and you can just take these very, very, very wispy ends off and it instantly makes your hair feel better. We call this a dusting cut. So it just takes that top layer and dusts it off so that it all looks silky and smooth. And it is such the best way to not lose your length if you have run into trouble. Like, people run into trouble all the time. You over blow dry, you overheat, you don't use a good heat protectant, you don't have enough moisturizer in your hair, you, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a million things. You get your hair stuck in a round brush. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if people really do that anymore because those were the old school round brushes, but you know, it's, it's all possible. You know, a kid knocks your hand when you're ironing. I mean, there's all kinds of, all, all kinds of things that you can do. So, that's a good question. And so, dusting cuts are very important. And have we done a dusting cut? I feel like we've done a dusting cut pretty recently on you, haven't we, Jenny? Yeah, I mean, it's probably been longer than what we think, but... <laughs> yeah, it always is longer, because we just... But it hasn't been too long. You know, when you're talking in how many times a month you shampoo your hair, everything seems to go by faster. Yes. So there, I'm just doing a little bit of a dusting cut right here because this is the one place she could maybe use it and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then I just go through and I look and see if anybody has any spots that look a little bit, I don't know if the right description is rough or, you know, whitery looking and that's how I like to go through and do a dusting cut. So, you know, I, it's not something they teach in school, but it's amazing, amazing, amazing to do. So why don't you put that computer on your lap and I'm going to turn you around and Her. do the back. A question. <laughs> okay, great. Uh oh. I don't know. Is that too close, everybody? Give me a thumbs up if you can see that good if I cut right here or if that's too too close up. I don't know. Not Can sure which one. I think we might need to move to the wall a little bit. Okay. To the window, to the wall. Okay. I won't continue singing that song. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that's a little better. Okay. So. Now, hopefully I didn't go too far away. Okay, so you can see how down here it gets a little see-through. And the way I judge, um, you know, what somebody wants uh, or how, some, how much somebody wants cut off is basically by how see-through this bottom part is, right? So if that's really see-through, you see how see-through that is? And then up higher, it gets less see-through. Do you see how you can't see my comb? Hold on, let me just hold it. So you can't see my comb through all of this, right? And then at the bottom, you start seeing through to the comb. Let me see if I can show you that. That's a tough one to get on here. Okay, so then you can really see the comb through there. So that's how I judge how much to take off from somebody's hair. 
So I take off what is necessary only based on what they want. If she wants, you know, a cute cut, then I'm gonna go up way higher than if she wants just to keep her length, then I go way lower, so I'll cut down here. So you'll have to excuse if I don't get it perfect, perfect right now, everybody. I'm gonna do my best to keep it as straight as possible while cutting from the side and no mirror. And then I'll go in and correct it and make sure that it's all good after. Okay, so you see how I just took the very, very lightest wispy, you know, lightest wispies off of this end that I can, okay? And then when I turn her around, I'll get a better angle and make sure my line is straight. Okay, so I just really wanted to show you how you can judge how much to take off because you can really, you know, go scissor happy and take way more if you're, um, if you're not well versed on what the client is wanting. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and then I'll, I would match that up. And because Jenny doesn't necessarily want her front longer, now that she's getting to this length, I, I would start taking out, I won't cut at this angle because if you are getting more of an angled bob and you want it to go longer in the front, people would cut more at an angle like this, right? So you cut more like that, more like a U shape out here. And so I'm going to go more straight because of the length where she is, she's, we're gonna start taking out that angle so that it um, gets a lot longer in the front which will then make her think that we took more off in the back, but we didn't. So those of you who are clients, Jenny knows this is gonna happen, but you as a client don't necessarily know that's gonna happen. So you might wanna you know, know that that's gonna happen when you get to a certain length. And so you need to discuss whether you wanna keep that angle in or not to keep your face frame longer. Okay, I think that's a very important point. So hopefully everybody got what I meant there. If you want your hair long, would you put long layers in it to change it up? So if you want your hair long, would you put long layers in to change it up is the question. So if you want your hair long, would you put long layers in? It really depends on what your end goal is and what your, you know, everybody is different in their hair um, type and their texture and their, you know, how long they want to get. There are so, so, so many factors in it. So you want to make sure that you just know what your result is, right? If you want more fullness, and I'll do some layering in this and so you can see the difference later and, show, and I'll show you how you can do some layering that doesn't affect the length as much and especially for finely haired people, you don't want to over layer. So I'll show you how to just get a wispier, lighter effect out of it. Yeah, that was one of the questions, if you put layers in my hair. Okay, so yes, we do a light layer just to make it more wispy. Oh, do we need to go closer now? <laughs> it's upset. Yeah, we should go closer. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to turn your back around. That'll be tricky. Just keep changing. It's okay. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Okay, so now I'm just going to come around this edge. I'm just going to um, touch up back here and make sure that my line is perfect. Do you see any questions, Jenny, as you're... Just a lot of people are asking how to make your hair grow faster. <laughs> Oh, how would you make your hair grow faster, Jenny? <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you, <laughs> use our shampoo and conditioner. It yeah. grows so fast. Oh, yeah. Do you feel a difference? Like, I don't know, because my hair has always grown fast, so I just really don't. You know how I can really tell? How can you tell? Because my color grows out so fast, so I have regrowth so fast. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So I know it, it's, yeah, it grows Growing faster. Like crazy. Yeah. So also, um, for those of you wondering, when a hairstylist puts your hair down like this, or your head down like this, what they're doing is creating a natural bevel so that the underneath gets shorter and the over the top gets longer. So when I have Jenny, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this in the back and make sure that I have that natural bevel. Um, I, it's more important the shorter your hair gets. As it gets longer, that doesn't stack quite as much as it <clears throat> does when it's shorter. Okay, so now as I continue um, around to this side, if I want that to tuck kind of under for her, which I think is very important when it starts laying on your shoulder and on your collarbone to flip out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her look straight ahead and then tip to the side. So that allows that natural, you know, the top layer to be stacking over top of the bottom and it helps it kind of sit under to the best of its ability. Now, is this going to completely, you know, 
get rid of that Carol Brady flip out when you're in a grow out? Probably not, but it will just give it its best chance it's at helping you at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever it can, it will help. So I'm just gonna take off these wispy ends. So Jenny, do you really wanna um, lose that? I think, I think, yeah, we've already discussed that, yes. so I think we're gonna cut, lose that angle mostly. Mm -hmm. So let me see here. Have I ever had long hair? Yes, I have. I actually have. Yeah. Okay, um, now we're gonna do the other side. Am I still testing the purple shampoo? Uh -huh. I am. <laughs> well, the conditioner, we're getting shampoo made to test too, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because we, we decided that we're gonna do both, the shampoo yes. and conditioner in the Platinum Series so that you can um, get the effect. Because I think blondes can't get enough blonde. Like, I think they just want every yes. piece of every inch of blonde <laughs> they can. <laughs> and so I think, Let's just do shampoo and conditioner, right? Because you guys not? told me that you've never found that. Have you Have you ever found that, Jenny? Uh, shampoo and conditioner combo? Yeah, That's I fun. have. You have? Yeah. Okay, so I thought, was it Brooke that had Maybe, yeah. Yeah, be. okay. So just kidding, it, it exists, but we're going to yeah. do it too. I, I have a funny curl right here too. But when I use it, it makes oh, my hair feel greasy. So. Oh, that's, yeah, that's always a problem. Yeah. Okay, so now here's... Jenny's face frame. So I want you to turn to the side so they can see. You can see how thin this is getting right here. And so I'm going to do my best to take that away. But I think that it's really um, in style to have most of this as long as possible. So I'm going to take minimal there because I do not want to overdo that. And then what we'll do is we'll give her pick me up right here so that this, because I can see where this is going to bend and sit like that. So I want to take off about an inch here so that it really picks up that and can sit like that for you again. Do you see how much difference that mm -hmm. makes than that, everybody? I think that's key. It makes your left side look like brighter. I know. Right? I don't know if that's the lights or <laughs> that effect. I don't but know. That's, that's the effect we're gonna give. So that's what I do when I'm cutting as I'm, as I'm, as you're looking and talking in the mirror, and that's why people, like when I'm cutting, I, I don't multitask as well is I want to really pay attention to where these things are going to sit for you so that you can really um, create the shape you want. And then the trick is, is how short can I go and push that without it getting too short where it comes up and then is like stick straight on you and you're fighting it instead of like going with it. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do now. So you can look for a question while I concentrate on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> or not yet. I'm looking here. <laughs> yeah. Where's Kendrick when we need him? He's usually giving us some good questions in there. What do layers do for your hair? Okay, can you explain that, Jenny, while I do face frame? So layers, well, they can. it depends on what kind of layers you get. There are, I mean, you can do really long layers, where it's just like the last, you know, maybe a couple inches of your hair layered, and that'll just give it a little more lift at the bottom. It won't be so... Um, full or so like people that have really thick hair sometimes they don't want it to be just a box look at the bottom so mm -hmm. they'll layer the ends and make it a little more not necessarily wispy but just a little lighter and it'll like make it have a little more spring in it yeah um you can get shorter the shorter layers you go the more volume you're gonna get but if you have long hair you don't want to go too short or you'll have like Steps. Yes, I did that. Remember when the Jennifer Aniston cut Yeah, that's... and I had hair like up here. It was yes. ridiculous. I looked like the biggest mushroom head <laughs> ever. It was crazy. I looked like layers of mushrooms. Yeah, and I could not get it straight because my hair was so thick. It was ridiculous. I was yeah. no Jennifer Aniston. That is for sure. Don't do short layers with long hair. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna do this bang area, and I'm gonna show you what I'm going to. So I'm taking this piece. I'm doing a disconnected, you know, fringe area because I don't. I don't necessarily care that it blends into this because I know Jenny likes it to sit like this. So it's okay for, in my mind, for this not to blend, so I'm doing it disconnected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in at an angle. Can you see any of that? Mm. Oh, well, well, well they'll kind of see it better on the other side, yeah. I think. So I'm gonna cut in at this angle, and I'm gonna start just a bit lower than I think because hair tends to shrink when you put a bend in it. Okay, and so that will just allow it to then, when she blow dries and everything, to sit just like that. And I think that is really, a, you know, what does really well on Jenny's 
face frame or <laughs> Jenny's, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Jenny's um, oh, no, face shape, face shape, face yeah. shape. That's what I'm going for. Your style. Okay. Let's see here. Will the purple shampoo work well on brown hair that has blonde highlights? It'll just brighten up those blonde highlights, yeah. Yeah, and I think you'd have to be, I wonder what it would do because, um, like, if you are doing a colored brown versus a, yeah. a natural brown, I think would make a difference, too. Mm -hmm. So if you have an artificial brown, then it's going to be one thing, but if it's your natural brown, then it won't be as affected. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to take this piece over here, and I'm going to make that my transition so that her bangs can go both ways. So this way it'll be connected and I know exactly what length I started with on the other side. And I'll go ahead and cut that into the transition piece again. And then I'll move that back over because I already have my cut. And then I'll make sure I got everything I wanted in her fringe piece. So another question, if well, a couple of these. I want to lighten my hair more to Jenny's color, but I'm not sure how to relay this to my hairdresser. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Um, so I think the biggest thing is you want an ash blonde. So Jenny tries to get as ashy of a blonde as she can. Or icy. Icy, like yeah. Icy, icy is better than ashy. I do like that, yeah. an icy blonde. But I, you need to make sure that it's your hairstylist. So you want as light of a white blonde as you can get you want yeah. the warmth out so you need to make sure you get rid of the warmth now to get rid of warmth you have to do um purples and greens and that's how they get rid of the warmth in your hair so but it doesn't last forever because like for me you see how my blonde always turns more um warm because it's just the way my hair is jenny's can hold the icy or ashy blonde better than mine because i have so much I think it's euomelanin, euomelanin? There's melanin and euomelanin. One of them is more warmth and I cannot remember right off. I'm, my school, you know, I, I must have not remembered that in my testing. Okay, so um, I'll have to look that one up and see which one it is. So now I'm going to, we can see, can you look straight forward for a second? Okay, so you can see that now she has like less see-through bottoms. So that's nice, they look healthy. It looks more, you know, like heavy, like it could grow more. And so that's the importance of the pick-me-up. Now, to be in style and still allow growth, I want to go ahead and just take the top layer and I'm going to, so here's my line right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pieces, I'm just going to go in and create. So this is my primary cutting line. This will be my secondary cutting line. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to cut a secondary line. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that so that she has lightness on the top layer so that she can, um, you know, have more volume. So it's just a subtle, I'm doing a very subtle one because I know Jenny wants to grow her hair out. So if I cut in deeper here, up here higher, then you can imagine if this takes her two years to get her hair this long or a year and a half then that's a year and a half worth of hair growth that i've cut out of there so i need to make sure i'm staying just on the ends and creating just that wispiness so that she just has a little more volume here but if i cut deeper in imagine if i go way up here on my hair i'm losing three to four well probably three years well, maybe not even three years now my hair's not as long as it used to be but you know that's probably two to three years worth of growth if I if somebody took a scissors anywhere up in this area so if your goal is to grow your hair out longer or thicker then you don't want somebody cutting in up here you can have them cutting down in the lower you know inch or two okay any questions yet yeah how do you know if you're over drying your hair does anybody know I think we should give a prize for anybody that knows that does anyone? Does anyone? I want to see if somebody says it. So we talk about certain things on here all, all, all the time. And I would love to know if one of our viewers that sees it all the time, I will give a special bonus prize of Timeless um, to whoever knows what it is that's blow drying. So tell me if anybody comes up with the answer. I'll give them like 20 more seconds and then I'll tell you guys. 
So the trick Linda is... Linda Marie. Linda Marie knows? Okay. That was the first one. Okay. So the trick is, is that you want to keep the shine in your hair. If you have taken the shine out of your hair, that means you're over blow drying. And that is very important to know. So don't over dry those ends, ladies. You want the shine. You want the shine. If you have to go in and put a bunch of oils in after, you're probably removing too much moisture from your hair in some way, shape, or form. Oops. Do you have gel polish on? They like your nails. They want to know if it's gel. Uh, yes, I do. I just wish I knew what it... I, it was... Tammy might know. It was, I think, number 59 or 69. <laughs> the nail polish. But depending on where you are. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. There's one on the chart. I have now finally reserved myself for the first time in my life ever because of this to do, um, to actually get my nails done because it lasts four weeks. Four weeks. This is over a week. I love it. I, I always was like, oh, I can't spend that money. <laughs> I can't treat myself. It, it costs too much. <laughs> and now I just, it was getting tiresome, huh, Jenny? We were like in meetings, like trying yes. to remove our nail polish. It was crazy. Okay, so now I just have um, Jenny's pick me up whiskeys in there so that, can you look up for I me? Can. So you can see how it just creates a little bit more width up here, even though it's not going to be there all the time, right? Like if I push it down, but it still has more than when she first started, right? And so now we have that pick me up, and I didn't you know, do a face frame up today, so yeah. <laughs> But we can definitely get the volume in there if we want it. And so I love it. I think that's cute. Good job. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> so we're going to do um, a quick curl. Yeah, we um, had questions last week on how to curl on someone else, so I think this will be great. Yeah. Uh, do you have yeah. iron plugged in, you know? Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, so yeah. now. How do we curl on somebody else is the question. So we're gonna go ahead and multitask that. Yeah, and we have to say what we're Oh yeah, oh, we forgot presents. Let's do our presents. Okay, so for, um, so since today is talking about a pick me up cut, we're talking, we're going to give prizes that, or presents that help keep your hair healthy um, after you get that pick me up cut, okay? So I'm going to give with the iron, I'm going to give the thermal protectant because that will multitask, giving you pick-me-up volume, holding your style longer, and also um, thermal protectant for when you're using the iron. So I'm so that's the upstaged and the iron package. Okay. That's one. And oh, then to keep the shine in your hair, keep your hair so shiny. <laughs> you can hold those. Okay. Hold those. <laughs> or can you? Or is it gonna drop your computer? Okay, so we're gonna give the shampoo and conditioner and blow time so um, that you do the right foundational products that keep the moisture in your hair and help your hair look shiny all the time and healthy so that you don't. And also helps you get in um, talking about how many um, times a month you wash your hair instead of how many times a week. So those are our presents today. They well, Linda already won this, the timeless. So. Oh yeah. Congrats, Linda. Good job, Linda. <laughs> I like that you know that you have to keep your hair shiny when you're blow drying and that's how you know you're keeping enough moisture in. It's an easy thing like, oh darn, my hair looks too dry, I need to put something in it. Nope, you over blow dried it. Okay. So we're going to teach how to curl on someone else. Okay. So when you curl on yourself, we always teach to set the iron down on the guidelines and then put your thumb and your fingers down and that's how you pick it up, right? So when you're curling on someone else, we found the easiest way is to do the opposite. So you want to flip your hand so that the back side of your hand is where the guidelines are and your thumb is by the T in time. Okay, so we're doing the opposites. My curls are funny too. Okay, <laughs> so when you go in and curl on someone else, what you're going to do is prep the piece of hair coming towards you. And depending on what kind of curl you want, you know, you can vary it a lot. For Jenny, I'm going to do a certain kind of curl. I know she likes a more lean curl, and she does not like her ends curly, everybody. So that's what I'm going to do, because she's my client today. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. So you just start with the guidelines towards her head, and then you rotate. And since I know she likes a more lean curl, I'm gonna draw down like this, okay? And so she just likes a little bit of bend in her hair like that. Um, I'm gonna turn you a little bit so they okay. can watch the curl. 
Isn't that, it, oh, I love the way your hair curls like I that. I do too. It's such a pretty curl. It's so neat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's so neat. Okay, so, and you notice I'm taking pretty big sections and I'm not squeezing the iron. I'm keeping it really open because Jenny has finer hair and that just really helps keep the heat less intense for the hair. So we want it nice and open and just shaping the curl. Very important. And our hair will still stay. It doesn't work on like, you know, hair just needs to be heated to the core and then it just cools and that's what helps it stay in place. It really does stay for four to five days. I just brush it and it stays. Yeah, that's so great. And didn't you just experience getting your hair done somewhere else and it fell out in like three yeah, hours? Yeah, I talked about that last week. Yeah, it fell out three hours later. I went to a yeah. blow dry place and yeah. Yeah, I never know how many people have been on before yeah. and heard that stuff. So oh, yeah, it's. I think it's important because girls fight to get their hair to look so good and then right. it's like, oh, it looks awful like a couple hours later and you're like, I don't even get it. <laughs> I don't even want it to fall out that fast. No. Okay, so you'll notice I'm just I'm just curling and not explaining. I forgot. Sorry, I forgot. I was, <laughs> forgot we're doing this here. I'm just you know relaxing. Okay, so um, and I think that I'm gonna do one more curl up here and then I'll shape her face frame because she doesn't want her face frame as curly. We'll see if I can master that for you. That'll be kind of funny to see if I can get that right for you. And you'll notice we aren't overly picky about our curls being like amazing, like popping back and you know, we just shape them in place and that's it. And then, then they're good. And then we can brush them after if they're a little bit too curly, so. Someone asked if I like the pampering. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, that just makes me wanna fall asleep when people do my hair. That's, I, I literally, have I told you guys, that's what my son does when he wants something, he goes, Mom, can I stay up a little later? And I'm like, yeah, if you're going to keep doing that. <laughs> if you're going to keep doing this to my hair, great. <laughs> He's going to be a little ladies man if he keeps doing that. Except for, there's a lot of girls that don't like their hair touched. And I'm like, oh, how can you? I just like do my hair. I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do a couple more curls back here. And then we'll move to the other side. So you'll notice, um, you know, I'm really directing down. I think this is a good angle for you to realize, like these are like my new favorite curls is, you know, I used to push forward on the curls really a lot and get them really full. And now it's about directing them down because I want them to be more lean. So you can really see it from this angle, I think. When you come in here and watch how I push down on the iron, okay? So I'm going out, but down at the same time. So instead of me coming, closer to you. So I used to push like this, and that would be the direction I really went with the curls, but now I'm really liking these lean curls that are kind of unfinished looking, and so I just kind of push more down like that. Okay. Question if you use timeless on your no wash days. Do I use time? Oh the, yeah, absolutely. No wash. Do you, Jenny? I use it on the like once a week, but I don't, yeah. I, that's all I really need. And I do, I do more often, um, like my ends are really needing a cut right now, but I'm holding out so I can do it for you guys, I think hopefully next week. So I just wanted to cut these, but lately, because they're kind of like tiresome, they're ready for a cut, um, I've been spraying Timeless on like more times during the week towards the ends of my hair to get a little less horse hair. <laughs> Wonder if I'll ever get out of completely horse hair. I think, I think not because it's nature. But you know, we're gonna get, we're gonna do our best to make your hair feel like pretty and nice and full and clean and silky all at the same time. Elsa is asking you to please explain what Timeless does and what you use it for. Okay, so Timeless is like, it like helps keep the moisture in your hair so that your hair doesn't try and absorb moisture out of the air. So when it does that, it helps it look more shiny, it helps it feel more silky, it helps it be more healthy. I don't know, is that it? Did I miss anything, Jenny? Did you say humidity? Yeah, uh, that I was know. reading. <laughs> it helps with humidity. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, it helps. So if your moisture, if your hair is already have moisture in it, it doesn't feel like it needs to absorb the moisture out of the air. 
So it helps you like kind of in an anti-humidity way. Um, but I like to explain it more at the core, but mm -hmm. it is important for people to get that that's what it is. Okay, so the difference is when you're curling on someone else, I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. So on this side, I'm pointing down. So this is her left side. I'm pointing down at the floor to get the curls to go away from her face. Now I'm pointing up at the ceiling. Same thing you do on yourself. You point up at the ceiling and then down. And so I'm doing the same thing. I'm just holding different. So I'm holding with the T in time, guidelines to the head, rotate back, and then drop down so that you can create the curl that we're going for today. Oh, wow, that one's awesome. <laughs> I like that curl. Can you show them what the guidelines are? There was a question. Absolutely. So guidelines are those two brown lines there. So you can see this side looks like gold and this looks like a line. So those are the guidelines. That's what we reference as the guidelines. Oh, my poor cut on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I should have held it more out like that so you can't see my fingers. And then someone asked if I curl just my top layers or, you know, do I touch the bottom? I do touch the bottom a, a little bit. Sometimes I just leave it if I have just done a blowout that day. Yeah, just, just enough to create bend there is yeah. really what we go for. And it depends on how much you drag down, right, and how right. unfinished. Like if your ends are really unfinished like this one I just did, then you wouldn't even need to touch the lower part really, the lower, you know, underneath layers. But if you do the one I did before, you might have to, you know. So it kind of depends. That's why I just curl the top layer. Okay, you can turn back. Okay. That's why I curl the top layer mostly and then decide what I want it to do after that. Is that how you do it, Jenny? No, you're a sectioner, aren't you? What's that? Sorry, I was reading. <laughs> well, do you, do you um, always curl the underneath or do you wait and kind of see if it needs it? Or yeah, I just kind of feel around and... <laughs> yeah, just see know. what it needs. Yeah. yeah. We're but both kind if of... If I feel like, a really straight piece, I just grab it and curl it. Yeah, put a little something in it. Yeah. Ooh, that piece I got. What does it mean if they have steam rising or water in the iron? Okay, so every time you heat your hair, steam comes out of your hair. Like um, some clients that had a ton of hair, they would fill the whole room <laughs> with steam um, because it would be so much steam coming out of their hair when we blow dried and we didn't know what was going on because I worked in a suite. Um, so then we started, um, or, so you know, moisture is always coming out of your hair. That's what it what it's doing when you're heat heating it or blow drying it. You know, so when you're using a styling tool, whew, I'm fumbling over my words. Today. <laughs> okay, so when you um, use any kind of iron, most of them are open ended. Um, what ours does is it channels the heat into this one area, so you see a, the steam in a channeled area. So it just means that you have moisture in your hair and you just wanna be cognizant of how much moisture you're taking out. Don't panic if you see steam, it's not a big deal. You just need to watch so that your hair remains shiny after. So if your hair is still shiny after you curl, you're doing a good job. And you could remove too much when you're blow drying too. So make sure that when you blow dry, you leave enough moisture in so that you can then heat style. It's very, very, very important. I cannot stress how important that is. Enough. I can, I can stress it, I just can't stress it enough. How important it is. <laughs> what a donkey. All right. So this piece, I don't know, I might have put myself in a conundrum here. So I'm going to just curl it a little bit more. And then if you don't like that piece in the future, we can blend it into this. We'll see which one you want it as a part of the bangs. So I should have, I should have talked about this. So when you're doing your natural fall, this is how you tell how many where your bangs are going to fall forward or where they're gonna to fall to the side. So where the comb starts lifting off of your head, turn to the side. So right here is the point where the bangs should fall forward and this is the point where they go down to the side. Now, if you're a person that, you know, your natural fall starts back here, like me, I don't have much for a forehead. So if I, my natural fall is way back here, and I would have so much bang falling forward. It's ridiculous. So I don't adhere to that rule, but it's a good rule of thumb to start from. And then you can judge whether you're a rule abider or a rule bender from there. So everybody has to decide, but it's a good rule of thumb to go from. If you're always finding like this piece of hair is always falling into my bangs or something and it's too long, then that might be a good way to judge where to start that from. Okay, did that make sense? I was really... 
struggle in here. Okay, so I just want to do that. I don't even know if we need to shape this. I already like how it's falling. What do you think? I think it looks great. I think I won't overbend that. I think I'm going to leave it. I like it blending in like it does. They want to see the back. Okay. Did I curl the back good? <laughs> Let me look. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I know, right. Okay, so I'm going to turn to you and see if I need to, if, how it looks on here. Okay, so we're so close. I feel like it's not like a real great. I can be like this. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that is way better. Okay, so I just wanted like, you know, just a little bit of bend back here. I might, you know, because this is what I do now. I see how it all comes together and see if I want more bend than that or not. I don't know. I'm actually okay with it. Yeah, I think I like that. And so let me show you what you can do for a little bit of finishing touches here. You can pick it up and kind of spray in. I spray underneath because I want the separation in it and fullness, right? Because what she wanted was the pick-me-up. So that means that I want more fullness in here. So I'll spray one side like that in the front so that you can see the difference of when you do that, when you spray up at it. Spray with purpose, right? You want more fullness? Spray underneath. <laughs> What's funny? I Did saw Brittany say, say, I hate when hair gets in my lipstick too. Oh, uh, it's the worst. <laughs> yes. It is absolute worst. Okay, so now let's teach him to spray with purpose in the front. We're going to pick up here, and I want her to have a little bit of lift here. I'm going to let it dry here, and then I'm going to spray over top now to make that all blend together and sit how I want it to sit. So you can see the difference in how this side's a little bit softer looking, depending on how you finish it out. Let me see if I can get out of the way here. Um, so you can kind of judge what look you like better and what look you're going for that day. And this is obviously going to settle over here a little bit after a few minutes. Okay. So which side do we like? Camera one? Camera two. I like both. I could really rock both. Which one do you like, Jenny? Which one do you want to do today? Um, let me get up out of... I don't bit know. More. I kind of like this side today. Okay. All right. So we'll just match it by spraying underneath over here. And then we're going to lift here and spray underneath so that it can dry. Because where hairspray dries is where it stays. So we're going to shape that in. What you keep seeing. No, no. I was just... <laughs> I was going to tell you to say that, so okay, yeah. you said it. <laughs> oh, everybody, we for, almost forgot to tell for our presents, Jenny. Do you remember? Yeah, I have it. Right you have it in your notes? Okay. I, well, I had it right here. Here it okay, is. Okay, <laughs> so we forgot to tell everybody that, like, so to introduce, um, you know, our shampoo and conditioner, uh, we had a 20% off of all of the wet line, and I wanted to let you know that we're taking that off when? 9-1. Friday. So this Friday. So you have a couple more days where you get 20% off of the products and then it's going to be back to regular price. So that was our introductory price so that people could, since you know you don't get to try, since you don't get to try it in a salon yet. Although we did just start our distributor program, so that's exciting. So you might be seeing it in salons soon near you. Yes. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that it's 20% off ending Friday on all the wet line. Yes. Right? We got it? Okay. Yeah. All right, I love this. I think it's a pick me up, Jenny. You feel picked up? I do. <laughs> I feel like a whole I love new it. world. <laughs> okay. All right. So presents. Should we do presents, or do, do we have any questions? Are we good? Uh, to see, will irons be in salons? Yes. 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 So, if you know a salon owner that wants to sell our products in their salon, they can email us wholesale at timestyle.com. Yeah. So make sure we'll you up. know. Your stylist is interested. Tell them we just started. We are so excited to do that. Yes. Okay. okay, so presents. Um, presents. What are presents? Let's do the um, upstaged and iron first. Okay. Jessica Gara Garayu Johnson. <laughs> Garua? Garua. I hope I didn't put your name down. Oh, wow. Now. Jessica Johnson. Jessica Garua Johnson. Yes. Oh, I think I got it. Garua? Garua? Yeah. Garua. Okay, so congratulations. You are the winner of Upstage and uh, the Iron. I can't even think of what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> and then for Blow Time and Pre Game and Show Off, our winner is. Let me get these straight here. Our winner is Tony Brookins Faust. Okay, congratulations, Tony. You are the winner of the foundation products. Yes. Woo. So yes, send us 
a private message with your email and mailing address if you're one of our winners. Yes. Thank we'll you. get those sent out. All right. So next Wednesday, I almost said Friday, <laughs> and next Wednesday, we don't know what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. Maybe my maybe haircut. haircut. My, maybe my haircut. Oh, we should take this off so they can see. I think the cape kind of hinders how pretty a haircut is. <laughs> yeah. I think that's better. Now that's a reveal. Ta-da! <laughs> a pick-me-up cut. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got lots out of today's live, and we will see you next Wednesday. Bye! I gotta get over here so I can. <laughs>